Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Racing the Races. So I've had a look at some of the uh, future racing on Saturday, um, and there's three races that I'm interested in, and one at a decent price, I think, in the Betfair Hurdle. And we'll start with the Betfair Hurdle. Now, I've loaded up last year's result because the winner, well, my selection, sorry, for this year, actually ran in it last year. And it's 50 ball. Now, 50 ball ran last year off 131 and runs this year off 131, which would instantly give him a, a chance. You know, he's off the same mark as when running a very competitive handicap and finishing second. So he has a chance. But let's have a look at those around him and see how they, they've done since. Well, Soaring Glory is now £14 higher and does actually have an entry in this race. So if they um, ran against each other on Saturday, 50 ball would be £14 better off for being beaten back two lengths by Soaring Glory. That would give him a chance. And especially if we look at the market, and Soaring Glory is the 6-1, to 7-1 to one third favourite. 50 ball, 50 ball is down here at 16s. And I think that's a, that's a good price. But it's not just the winner. If we have a look at third, it's Edward Stone. He's now £13 higher over fences and did go and finish fifth and third at the Cheltenham and Aintree Festivals. Annual Invictus has won twice, albeit over fences, and is now rated £8 higher over fences. Buzz was going to be a stayers hurdle horse. He won at Aint uh, Ascot sorry, earlier in the season before sadly uh, passing away. But he'd won the Cesarowicz at Newmarket um, and had finished second at Aintree in a grade one. I'm going to say that was a grade one. Let me just double check. In a grade one behind Abracadabras. He finished second in a grade one. He'd won a Cesarowicz. He'd won a grade two at Ascot. Good form. Let's keep going back. Guard your dreams. Is now rated £12 higher. Has won a graded race at Cheltenham. Finished second recently at Sandown. Um, it's good form. We can go all the way back to 11th. Milkwood finished 11th. And you can see that was probably his only poor run, really. He's since won a Scottish champion hurdle. And is now rated £7 higher. So 50 ball running off the same mark as he did last year. In a race that has actually worked out really well. With lots of the horses now being higher rated. I think... We'll run a really big race here. Um, and at 16 to 1, I think is a great price. So I've had a bet on uh, 50 ball for the Betfair Hurdle on Saturday. We know Gary Moore is very clever with his handicaps. Can we give 50 ball excuses for why he's not progressed like the others? So he went to Cheltenham and he disappointed, finished in 16th. Since then, he's been over fences. And I actually only, th I, I think he wants two and a half over fences. Granted, the two-mile trip at uh, Newbury might be on the short side for him, but I think the pace they go can really bring his, his stamina into play. His, as I said, his three runs um, this season have all been over fences. He's back over hurdles on Saturday, and I think that will give him a great chance. Two other horses I wanted to talk about. I highlighted at, at 2.58, Brave Man's Game in the three-mile handicap chase this weekend for Paul Nichols. I think he'll be too good for those. He's in against... Other horses, it's a limited handicap, which means he won't be carrying, you know, silly weight, 12 stone. I think he'll carry 11-8. Uh, um, and the, the horses that he's up against, none of them, A, look well handicapped, and none of them could be running in a in a Brown Advisory or an RSA chase uh, come Cheltenham. If we look at his other entry, he's also in the Denman chase. Now, that's purely if something happens to Clander's oboe, surely. Um, and even if he did go there, if he actually ran in that, I think he would win, Brave Man's Game. But I think Clander's oboe wins as well. It doesn't look the greatest race. Um, the biggest danger on official ratings would be Royal Pagai. Well, he's not going to get the ground. And the others, like El Dorado Allen, just is won't be good enough. And Imperial Aura, I think, has failed to complete the last three times and isn't as good as Clander's oboe. Um, so... I tweeted that at 2.58 and then I was delighted to see about 50 minutes later at 3.48 this came through. The intention is for Brave Man's Game to run in the novice handicap over 2 mile 7 as a prep for Cheltenham. So that's great. I think both of those can overcome the Paul Nichols poor form. And I'm hoping 50 ball can run a really big race in the Betfair Hurdle.